Friday afternoon, with the Pac-12 regular season title up for grabs, ASU lacrosse laid it all on the line, hoping to defeat the number 17 ranked USC Trojans. Through 30 minutes of play, the Sun Devils kept pace with the Trojans. USC never led by more than three goals, and the two teams went into the locker room tied 7-7 at halftime. The two teams stayed even for the first five minutes out of the break, but from there, USC took the advantage, scoring four straight goals before heading into the final period of play. In the fourth, the Sun Devils refused to give up and battled back to within two with two minutes still left to play, but in the end, it wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, definitely things to learn from, um, and I think showing that we have a lot of fight. Uh, we could have folded, but we kept fighting. Um, we chipped away at the end, just kind of ran out of time there, so I think definitely a lot of positives to take away. Despite the 13-15 loss, the Devils were all smiles after the game when ASU recognized 16 seniors who would be moving on from the ASU lacrosse program. With the regular season over, the Sun Devils won't turn their attention towards the Pac-12 championship tournament just yet. Coach Tim McCormick made sure to emphasize that this program's focus has been, and always will be, to cherish one day at a time. Their focus has always been on, and our focus has always been on the next day. So we're going to cherish tomorrow, um, you know, and continue to just play Sun Devil across every chance we have together. Um, and if that, you know, culminates in something like that, it'd be excellent. It'd be great. I mean, they, they definitely deserve that, and, and we want that for them, but we will keep our focus in the present. With the loss, ASU will have to wait until the Pac-12 tournament to earn its coveted first Pac-12 title. The tournament, which starts on May 4th in Tempe, will allow the seniors one final chance to play on their home field. Reporting for Cronkite Sports, I'm Tia Reed.